The yellow fever virus is an important flavivirus, a family of positive sense RNA viruses. The yellow fever virus also belongs to a category of viruses known as the arboviruses. These viruses all share a common feature of being spread through an arthropod vector, most commonly being the mosquito. For the yellow fever virus, the mosquito that is the arthropod vector is the Aedes mosquito. This mosquito transmits the virus and causes a clinical syndrome characterized by jaundice, fever, and black vomit. Why do you think the patients get jaundice? Well, the virus preferentially infects hepatocytes, leading to inflammation of the liver and subsequent buildup of bilirubin in the bloodstream. The vomit is black because it often can contain digested blood, which is another feature of this yellow fever disease. Now we're going to cover the other important flaviviruses. Do you remember the other important flaviviruses? Go ahead and write them down now. The important flaviviruses include hepatitis C virus, the dengue virus, the St. Louis encephalitis virus, and West Nile virus. These are all important flaviviruses in addition to the yellow fever virus. The hepatitis C virus causes chronic hepatitis, which will lead to cirrhosis and possibly hepatocellular carcinoma if untreated. The dengue fever virus causes dengue fever, or more seriously can cause dengue hemorrhagic fever, a potentially fatal disease that is characterized by fever as well as coagulopathic state where patients can heavily bleed and present in hemorrhagic hypovolemic shock. St. Louis encephalitis virus is a mosquito-borne virus that can cause unremitting fevers, headaches, and can progress to a significant neurologic disease. It is called the St. Louis encephalitis virus because it is found in the region of St. Louis in the United States. The West Nile virus is another mosquito-borne flavivirus that typically causes a very mild flu-like disease in immunocompetent hosts. However, in immunocompromised people or in the elderly, it can cause a very life-threatening neurologic disease, such as meningoencephalitis, inflammation of the meninges and the parenchyma of the brain, or it can even cause poliomyelitis, which is inflammation of the spinal cord that can lead to acute paralysis, similar to what is seen in poliovirus infection. It's important to note that all of these viruses, as I've sort of mentioned, are arboviruses. They belong to the arbovirus category of viruses because they are transmitted by an arthropod vector.